Hello to all the collectors out there and Pirates of the Caribbean fans. Today we are looking at Sao Feng, that badass pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean, the 7 inch NECA figure. So let's get into this box and check it out. Here we have Sao Feng, the pirate on our table. Now just to give you a short overlook of the packaging on the front, you have some Pirates of the Caribbean graphics right here. And then we have the figure, also some parts of the Caribbean uh, graphics to the back, but to the side as well. And a short description of uh, accessories that come with this figure. Going to the back, you also have some nice graphics about the main character in the box. And then we have some variations of this figure that come with this series. And overall, everything looks quite nice. I think it's about time to use my generic cutter to open this box up. So let's check it out. As you might have noticed, my box was a bit damaged here, but you know, that's fine because I got this in second hand and I'm really glad with the status it came in and that the fact that it's still in its original packing. Our first clear view to this figure does reveal in a very nice space. And let's open it and see how this looks. Let's talk a bit of this base. Now this base is a bathhouse base from, from the original movie. And in uh, Neca's version it's a bit weathered out, it does have some elements that could come from the sea, like seashells, uh, algae and all sort of uh, sea elements. And I think it looks rather nice and uh, offers a good base for this figure. So the whole figure and the base were connected with these wires, as this usually happens with these figures. So I'm just going to remove that. Now as a short advice, when removing this type of figures from this type of plastic blister, make sure you do it very carefully and slowly. The reason for this is that these figures usually have fresh paint when they're actually boxed and what happens is that usually some of this paint might stick to your blister. So always try to carefully remove these figures from these blisters, not to get any paint damaged or maybe even get the figure damaged while you're taking it out. Okay, so now that the figure is out of the box, we can take a better and closer look at it. And from the first impression, I can tell you, this is a really, really amazing figure. Lots and lots of details everywhere going on. The face also looks amazing with the beard and uh, far, far more details like the scars and um, all the, the eyebrows, even his small tattoo right here. Now I'll give you a closer look to all this, uh, these details um, in a little picture that you'll see right over here. Okay, so he does come with some accessories. Of course we have that uh, base, the bathhouse base that it comes with. Sao Feng also comes with a cool ass sword. Straight out of the box his sword looks like this, but there's quite some secrets regarding this sword. First one would be, you can easily slide it out and actually reveal the blade. So this is very nice that they actually did the sword and the sword holster separately, very cool. Now going even more from that, the sword does have a blunt end to this handle. This is actually a removable piece. Now the reason for this is that actually this will be the only way you can actually place the sword in his hand right there. And uh, I think it's a quite good idea to actually be able to do this, uh, but you would have the risk of losing this tiny piece. As you can see, menacing as it can be, Sao Feng looks awesome. Going to the back, same great level of detailing. Also, I will show you right there 
some of uh, the details and some close-ups of the, of the figure itself. Coming to the back, same amazing details all over. Now in terms of movement, this figure does not actually offer that much, but we are going to take a look at what it actually offers. The head does have a ball joint and uh, it does seem it can rotate and look in quite a lot of different angles. Yes, that's kind of cool. Uh, there is some limitation to front and back here. Otherwise, I guess you could pose him to look in different directions rather easily. Now, going to the hand here, this hand does have a 360 rotation from the wrist right here and from its shoulder also has a two axis movement. This is some, some sort hindered by his clothes but also you would still be able to actually move this quite freely uh, a great deal. Unfortunately, to the elbow there is no jointing. Now, his other hand is something totally different to what I just showed you and this is because this only has one joint and only one way to move. Um, I don't know why they did it this way, probably to get more of that cinematic pose to the character but this is all you have, so this is all you're going to be able to pose to his um, left hand. Do notice that there is some type of hidden dagger in his left hand. Going to the torso, there is torso movement. This does look 360, but I wouldn't do that because it does seem to be quite restrained of his clothing. Now, talking about clothing, this is a soft type of material, feels really nice, also extremely detailed, and um, yeah, that looks amazing. Now, going to the figure's feet, there is absolutely no joints, except for these lower ones, though they do let you have a little swivel in the feet here, I guess you could actually try to maybe pose his feet in a different angle but that's everything you can do to his feet now you do have some posing options to this figure and that's rather good anyway you would like to pose it on your uh, display or shelf it's going to look pretty good I really like it because of the level of details yes there is a downside that you don't have that much freedom of movement and Maybe it's not that poseable as other figures, but it does have a decent amount of ball joints and um, you could probably do a few poses and maybe even some cool photographs with this figure. How cool was that? An awesome, awesome figure from NECA, 7 inch of great Pirate Wonder. And don't forget, if you do enjoy the content here on JoJo's Wonderland, Click that subscribe button, but also click that little bell icon. That will keep you up to date with all the brand new and awesome videos I'm bringing to you right here on JoJo's Wonderland. So stay tuned.